Welcome or welcome back to the channel, and I hope you're doing great today. If you're watching this video, it's most likely because you're interested in a cybersecurity career as a GRC analyst. Whether you're not working in tech at all right now, or if you're trying to switch from another tech role, the GRC analyst role is one of the lesser known of the most common positions in cybersecurity, and it's where a lot of people start their journey. When we think about the different types of cybersecurity roles, typically we think of defense, so the people that are defending our networks, and then offense, which are the people that are actually attacking our networks and trying to find gaps in our security controls so that we can then improve our defenses. The GRC analyst is generally a defensive cybersecurity job, but let's break it down a little bit more. So first let's answer the question, what does a GRC analyst do? Well, the GRC analyst assesses and prioritizes information security and cybersecurity risk across the organization. They facilitate compliance with regulatory requirements and information security policies, and they develop and report on information security metrics. Have you ever heard of HIPAA? What about PCI DSS? Well, GRC analysts live and breathe risk and compliance requirements every day, which includes dealing with auditors, regulatory bodies, and even potentially customers of your business. What does that also mean? Well, that also means lots of paperwork and documentation, which requires the ability to stay organized. Now, compliance in GRC sometimes gets a bad reputation because let's be honest, when people are trying to get into cybersecurity or when they initially get interested in it, typically they're getting interested in it because of the technology not because they want to go write a risk assessment report. With that being said, compliance roles tend to have the best work-life balance out of all the different types of security jobs. Why is that? Well, compliance is somewhat predictable, so you can actually plan out the work. For example, if a report is a day late, that's not going to stop business operations unless it's for a regulatory body that's going to shut you down. But of course, that's pretty uncommon. Another important point is that if you want to reach the highest levels of leadership, then you're going to have to understand GRC. Honestly, any management or leadership position is going to require some understanding of GRC. And I know that's going to convince some people to not pursue those kind of positions, but at least I'm telling you right now. Believe it or not, your GRC team can also impact your ability to get business from customers because it helps provide assurances that you're doing what you should be doing for cybersecurity. Now, one of the most common questions that I get asked about is salary. Let's take a look at a salary range for a GRC analyst. So I went to Glassdoor, which is a really popular site for salary ranges, company reviews, and things like that. And I searched for GRC analyst to find the range that it came back with. So it's saying that you can expect on average, the middle salary based on what it knows is $86,631 per year, which is pretty great. If we look at the range, all the way from the very bottom at 56,000 up to 135,000 at the absolute top, but you can reasonably expect somewhere between 69,000 and $109,000 per year, which is pretty amazing. Now keep in mind where you fall on this scale is gonna depend on things like the skills you have, the knowledge, the amount of experience you have, the company that you're trying to interview for, the position that you're trying to get, all of that stuff matters and that is going to impact where you fall on the actual scale. All right, so now that you know how much money you can make, let's talk about some free training options that you can use to improve your knowledge and build important skills. Keep in mind that we aren't covering these in order of importance, but they're all useful for a GRC analyst to have. All right, so the first training option that I brought up is from NIST and it's about the risk management framework. So it's an introductory course to the risk management framework. Now. If you're in a GRC analyst role, especially in the United States, this is one of the frameworks that you're very likely to run into, especially if you're dealing with the government or the military or anything like that, again, in the United States. There are other places that are gonna use this too, but that's definitely the most common place. If we scroll down here, this again is a free training, but the purpose of this course is to provide people new to risk management with an overview of a methodology for managing organizational risk in accordance with NIST special publication 800-37. So we're not gonna dive into the specific special publications that NIST has, but there's a whole bunch of them. And specifically 800-37 deals with risk management framework. And there's some others that kind of branch off from that and that are related, but that's a really good one to understand. It will give you a very structured informational approach and training on what a GRC program looks like and which aspects of the program or of the organization that you're really gonna to have to focus on in securing. So it's really important to understand that, again, this is three hours of free training. So that's a really good start on understanding risk management framework and how GRC fits into the entire equation 
of the organization. If you're enjoying the content so far, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. That way YouTube knows you enjoy the content. Also, let's take a second to talk about Cyber Training Pro. Are you tired of overpaying for cybersecurity training? Are you interested in training from industry professionals? Are you looking for cybersecurity career services? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then CyberTrainingPro.com is the perfect platform for you. At Cyber Training Pro, we're a one-stop shop for all your cybersecurity needs. We can train you for industry certifications or just improve your overall knowledge and skills in a certain area. Unlike other platforms, we don't stop there. We can also coach you throughout your career, practice your interview skills, or create a high-performing resume with our career services. CyberTrainingPro.com isn't just another training platform. Students get exclusive access to our private community where we go beyond training courses to provide additional content, tips and tricks, and engagement with both other students and staff. Look, by the year 2025, there could be as many as 3.5 million job openings in cybersecurity. With so much opportunity, why not maximize your career potential with a platform that cares about your success? Come join us at CyberTrainingPro.com and start building your future today. So the next resource that I brought up is from Qualys, and Qualys makes some vulnerability management tools and some other things that are very popular in the industry. So if you go to their website under their training page, you'll see they have a whole bunch of different trainings that you can sign up for. Specifically for a GRC analyst, where I would wanna focus is the policy compliance learning path and the PCI compliance learning path to check out those different trainings because those are gonna to relate to your actual life as a GRC analyst. Specifically, I would start with the foundation options. Those are gonna be really good places to start out and just get your bearings as far as being a GRC analyst. The next option that I brought up is from Pluralsight. Now keep in mind, this is for a 10 day free trial. So if you don't wanna get charged, you have to make sure that you finish everything or do everything that you wanna do within the 10 days or it's going to charge you. Now they have this governance risk and compliance path. If we go down here, it says in this path, you'll find important laws, compliance standards, and security frameworks that are imperative to multiple roles within information security. GRC applies to a bunch of different roles and that's a really important thing to understand. Now, if we keep scrolling down here, and the other thing that I want you to keep in mind is with GRC in general, those skills apply to all the different frameworks. It's not like if you know PCI, you can't go work on NIST Risk Management Framework or HIPAA or ISO 27001 because the skills apply across the board. It's not like you get certified GRC for PCI DSS and all of a sudden you just forget all that information when you go work on these other frameworks. Sometimes people believe that and that's just crazy to me because that's so far from the truth and I've lived that firsthand. But keep that in mind. So some of the other things that it does cover, security compliance, governance, and frameworks, ISO 27001, SOC 2, GDPR, HIPAA, and the list goes on and on and on, right? Like there's a whole bunch of different frameworks that they have in here that you can get exposed to. And this would be a really good place to get exposed to a bunch of different frameworks because they do cover a lot of them. The next training option that I brought up is from Coursera. And just like with Pluralsight, you wanna be careful about the free trial, but this course is called the GRC Approach to Managing Cybersecurity. Again, with GRC, it's very much about oversight of the cybersecurity program. If we scroll down here, we can talk about the things that you're gonna learn in this. So identify the importance and function of GRC, describe the structure and content of cybersecurity related strategy, plans and planning, Describe best practices and risk management, including the domains of risk assessment and risk treatment, and identify the key components and methodologies of cybersecurity policies and policy development. So again, this is another really good option for training and getting you exposed to GRC. Remember what I said earlier, just because you learn one framework, that's actually gonna mean that you can take those skills and some of that knowledge into other frameworks. You're not just gonna be isolated or restricted to one framework. In fact, in a lot of GRC analyst roles, you're gonna deal with a lot of different frameworks. It's typically not just gonna be one specific framework. So keep that in mind. Question of the day, which one of these training options are you gonna study? Are you gonna study something else that we didn't cover? Let me know down in the comment section below. The GRC analyst role is a great place to either start or grow your cybersecurity career. It's not uncommon for people to spend a lot of their career or all of their career in GRC because it's so critical for organizations. Ultimately, if you enjoy the type of work that GRC does, then it's a perfect fit for you. If you're looking for more training or career service options, make sure to check out Cyber Training Pro. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. 
Check out the description for more resources related to this video, and I'll see you next time.